Welcome back to another edition of Off the Cuff. I am your host, Coach EO. Now, as you read the title, man, most of these guys today are playing defense to these women, man. If you really pay attention to a lot of the things you say and a lot of the material out here, you know, shout out to all the coaches. They're doing their best. Uh, they're teaching what they feel is the best way. But when I take a look at it, I'm like, man, this is all defensive moves right here. Watch out, because if you do this, she gonna do this. And watch out, because these women today, they're on, they're they're on the hunt, man. They're gonna they're gonna take your condoms, they're gonna take your used condom, and they're gonna go go in the bathroom with a with a, a turkey baster, and they're gonna put it in their pussy, and you, <laughs> and they're gonna have your baby. Man, if if that is happening, they're only for one, those are psychos, or two. That's happening to millionaires, man. Y'all got a G in the bank talking about she trying to steal my sperm. Come on, man. See, part of the problem is you're very unrealistic to begin with. You're naive. You don't have enough experience. You're living through the experiences of another failed loser. When you should be listening to some grown-ass men. Look, no woman is trying to take your sperm, bro. For real. You heard that somewhere. And that, who was that? Some some famous person? The, the woman was trying to do that? Shit, most of you dudes, I read your comments, man. Man, I would nut in her, bro. I would, she, she's wifey material right there. She's wifey material because she got a fat ass. I be seeing your comments, man. She's wifey material right there, man. I will bust in her, man. You. So what you're basically saying is you will trap a girl over a booty. Yet if a woman sees an opportunity, if, if she does, which she most likely don't see an opportunity in you because you only got about a G in the bank. If you got less than twenty thousand dollars in the bank, ain't no woman trying to, ain't no woman trying to trap you, bro. <laughs> I mean, you gotta have a lot of money. You gotta have a lot of status. You gotta have a lot. I mean, people gotta, you gotta be known to be that dude of just stacking paper and building businesses, and you got an empire. You got employees. I mean, you gotta be known. It better be known. Your name better be known out here. <laughs> If you got like 20 G's in the bank, nobody trying to rob you like that, bro. <laughs> no one's trying to trap you like that. I'm telling you, man, you guys are playing defense to these women. You got to be offense minded when you're dealing with life. Not just with women, but life. But I'm going to talk about women. Women need to be like in defense to you. Like, oh, I better, I better watch what I say to this dude, man. I could just tell. I could t- tell the way he lives, how he speaks, how he behaves, how he talks on the telephone. Like, let a woman sit in sometime. Go ahead and tell, hey, have a seat. I'm about to make a phone call real quick. You know, like me, for example. Hey, have a seat. I'm going to make a phone call real quick. And let, let a woman listen to you conduct business on the phone. She going to know right there. Oh, I can't talk to this dude any old way. He going to get rid of my ass. He just got rid of that person on the phone. He just canceled that whole membership. He had a membership. <laughs> he had a contract going. He canceled that old shit. Sometimes little women sit in. That's a good game for a little woman sit in when you're about to cancel something or cancel someone. Or you got to maybe, you know, take some corrective action on somebody. Let her sit in. Hey, sit down, drink a glass of wine, I'll make a phone call real quick. And let her hear you do your man shit. Naturally, that's going to put a woman in defense. Not that we really want to put her in a scarcity mindset, but a woman must be pursuing the man in order for it to work. I've said this before. I'll say it again. The woman has to campaign to be your girlfriend. She has to campaign to be your fiance. She has to campaign to be your wife. You don't campaign to do those things for her. You don't. It doesn't work that way in the real world. In order for a woman to be faithful to you, and it's still not a chance, but to be faithful to, to you, to be respectful to you, to be loving and affectionate to you, to be feminine to you, she has to be coming after you. That's the way it is. So instead of you playing defense, she got to play defense. Instead, it's, I better not text back right away. I don't want to show her I'm too needy. I better not do this. I better not do that. I better not call her for two days. We had a great date, but I better not call her. Man, a grown-ass man does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. And he's ready to be with someone or ready to cancel their ass at any given minute. That's man shit. That's the offense. That's being a coach. I know exactly what to do, when to do it. I know who to pull in the game, who to pull out of the game. I know who to demote to AAA. I know who to advance back up to starting roster if need be. A grown man is never playing defense. grown man sees 
three moves ahead always a grown man knows on tuesday what he's gonna do on saturday stop playing defense with these women is working against you and it's feminine and a woman can smell that weakness all right stop playing defense get offensive minded out here leave your questions leave your comments below and stop listening to all these losers i'm out